Relying solely on the GPS can lead to loss of accurate navigation in degraded environments. Various solutions to the GPS denied problem have been proposed, but none have provided viable solutions for naval vessels. Our solution is based on a Lockheed Martin gravimeter that provides microgravity measurements. Some questions to be addressed here include 1. How to provide a low-cost, small, and accurate gravimeter to meet naval vessel navigation requirements? 2. How to mitigate the many practical issues associated with gravimeter-based navigation? And 3. How to test the hardware and develop the algorithms? Maintaining mission-critical navigation performance without a GPS or a comparable positioning system is quite challenging. Furthering this challenge by attempting to do so passively compounds matters. A common issue with passive navigation is that without external position fixes like those provided by GPS, data reckoning errors intrinsic to all standalone inertial navigation systems grow over mission durations, eventually reaching the point where position uncertainty is unacceptable and integrity is lost. Using the very highest grade inertial sensors available can postpone the onset of this inevitable condition, but does so with significant added cost. Alternately, navigation practitioners seek more reasonable sensors and data sources of complementary nature to slow error growth and limit position uncertainty. Here, a completely passive solution to the GPS-less navigation problem is presented that employs a new gravimeter developed by Lockheed Martin, coupled with a new navigation filter developed by X analytic systems that fuses passive sensors. It is well known that the GPS signal is very weak. This makes it susceptible to interference through various means. Oftentimes, the signal is lost, especially in cluttered environments. The signal is fairly easy to jam. An actual suspected jamming example is a 2022 incident, where it was reported that a GPS signal appears to be jammed in Strait of Armors. At the time of reporting, other vessels navigating in the area were reporting the same issue with the GPS. Spoofing is a process where an attacker uses a radio transmitter to send a counterfeit GPS signal to a receiver antenna to counter a legitimate GPS satellite signal. This can cause the receiver to produce a navigation solution that deviates from the actual one. The goal of the present work is to provide a, nav a passive navigation solution without the use of external signals, thus making it robust to external signal loss or attacker interference. DoD is modernizing the GPS by adding a stronger encrypted signal and using technologies like anti-jam antennas. Although this may alleviate some of the issues with the current GPS, vulnerabilities will still remain. A 2022 Government Accountability Office report stated that of the five DoD alternative positioning navigation and timing efforts that had started development, shown on the left, four efforts had incomplete business cases. All the alternative PNT current efforts may not be truly viable solutions to the GPS list navigation problem. The most resilient solution involves one that is both variable and passive. The gravimeter used in this work is based on a developed Lockheed Martin one. A rendering is shown here. It is the size of a soda can, which is clearly an advantage for very small unmanned vessels. Several simulation tests have been performed that shows it is an effective sensor for our application to the GPS denied problem. X analytic systems develop a new navigation algorithm that provides robustness to practical issues associated with the fielding inertial measurement unit or MU and gravimeter measurements. Detailed simulations show that our algorithm's prediction errors are much closer to the predicted ones, thus providing a more robust solution than traditional algorithms. 
We believe that this new algorithm will be able to provide a viable solution for practical implementation purposes. There are other problems that X Analytics Systems has solved to provide a practical solution, but due to time constraints, they are not discussed here. We have performed several simulations using realistic errors to assess the performance of our solution. The top graphic shows that our solution significantly reduces the errors over using a solution based on a high-quality IMU only. This provides a basis for optimism. In Phase 1, X Analytics Systems provided a proof of concept of the proposed gravimeter-based navigation system. We spend a lot of time addressing real-world issues that we expect to see once we use real data to assess our solution. A significant portion of Phase 2 will be spent on evaluating our solution using actual data provided by Lockheed Martin through several sea trials. Lockheed Martin has U.S. Navy ship test the data. This involves the data from an MU and multiple scalar gravimeters. It also has a GPS solution that can be used at the ground truth. Two paths from the coast of Florida are given. Data will be used to provide initial verification and validation of XA algorithms. The commercialization strategy employed by X Analytics Systems focuses on designing a system that can work with any generic surface vessel. For the commercial market, we believe that commercial transport ships could use this technology. There are many instances where the GPS is not available, both intentionally and unintentionally. The U.S. Coast Guard Navigation Center records and publishes GPS outage information on commercial vessels. There are many reported losses a day. It is important to note that these are just the reported ones. There are most likely many more. X Analytics Systems is working with its partner, Lockheed Martin, to develop a commercialization plan that not only includes the military, but the commercial sector. We strongly believe that there is a market need and want for the developed technology. At the beginning, we posed three questions. The first was, how to provide a low-cost, small, and accurate gravimeter to meet naval vessel navigation requirements. This was answered by using a new Lockheed Martin provided sensor. The second was, how to mitigate the many practical issues associated with gravimeter-based navigation. This was answered by the development of new algorithms that address practical issues. The third was, how to test the hardware and develop the algorithms. This was addressed by using detailed simulations and real data from a Navy ship. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please contact one of the persons shown here.